Hey guys, I'm Jay Randall and welcome back to my channel where I discuss wisdom for the modern man. Today guys, I'm going to be talking about what to do if your girl breaks up with you. Okay? Now, this is going to be, this is something that most men don't know, okay? But let's say your girl breaks up with you and let's say you, you want her back. Now, you shouldn't want her back because if she's trying to leave, let her leave, she's not for you, don't bring her back. Because if she breaks up with you, you already know she has your replacement lined up, you already know she's either already screwing him or is planning to. So that's a wrap on that one. But a lot of guys want their girl back and if you do want her back, it should only be for one reason, one reason only, and you know the reason I'm talking about. So, let's say you, she's breaking up with you, right? Let me tell you how to let me tell you how to be in that situation and leave in, a, in like the most like powerful way. Let's say she's talking to you and she said, you know, I just don't think this is going to work. You know, I want to break up. In that moment, guys, as painful as it may be, it is incumbent upon you to show zero emotion, okay, in your facial expression in your tonality, zero emotion. Just say, okay, that's fine. Don't ask a bunch of questions as to why and what's going on. Do you have anybody else? Nope, don't ask any of those questions. You simply say, okay, no problem. Completely flatline. And you, and you just end the conversation. And then after that, after you guys had that, make it very short, very brief. Just agree to everything she's saying. Just, okay, cool. Not a problem. And just cut it short. Make sure it's a very short conversation. And then after that, leading up to that, she's going to be wondering, like, because she's expecting you to ask a bunch of questions. What's going on? Are you cheating on me? You know, no, we can work this out. Like, is it something I did? No, don't ask none of that. Be as stoic as humanly possible. And I know it's gonna be difficult, but you need to do this. She's gonna be thinking in her head, like, why didn't he respond in the way that I expected him to? Why was he so neutral, so flatlined? Like, not angry, not mad, not sad, just completely neutral. She's gonna be wondering that. And as she, even though she's moving on, she's gonna be keep thinking of why there was no reaction. Why was he not phased by me leaving? And I promise you guys, okay? Well, in many cases, she's gonna come back, okay? And this, when you let her go, right? Because if you give her the satisfaction of seeing you like begging for her or let's work this out, she's gonna know, okay, yeah, I can do better than him because he wants me more than I want him. If you, in that moment, when she's trying to leave you, display the fact that you still want her, she, you've just displayed that you want her more than she wants you, and then she knows off rip, okay, I can do better. Because women want a guy who, who women want a guy who, it, it sounds crazy, who doesn't really need her or want her like that. They want a guy who, who chooses her, but could also get other women. Women always want to be in a position, even though they won't admit this, where they admire you more, they chase you more, they're looking up to you. So the second you display anything where it's like, okay, she doesn't want you, but you want her, then she knows her decision was a good one. She knows why she's leaving. You just basically gave her, you just gave her a reinforcement of why she's leaving in the first place show nothing and I promise you she's gonna be hitting you up she's gonna be curious like well does he have somebody does he have somebody else that he's you know gonna be seeing why is he so unfazed by us breaking up why was there no you know why was there no big conversation there was no emotional episode and she's gonna be she's gonna be I promise you, she's gonna be stalking your page. She's gonna be stalking your Instagram, trying to figure out, she's gonna be asking around, you know, wh who's he talking to? Is he dating anybody? And eventually, guys, 
And while when she's gone, guys, don't check up on her. Don't text her. Don't ask her, you know, you know, is everything okay? How's everything going? You know, no, no, no. You go silence. Absolute radio silence, guys. And most of the time, I would tell you just block her. But if if you're on like demon time, like the way I move nowadays, bro, you always know they're gonna come back. And when they come back, you know what they're there for. You know where what you're going to be there for. Screw what they're there for. You know what you're there for. So I always kind of leave that door open. Girls I used to deal with or whatever the case, I leave that door open. Why? Because I know they're gonna come back. And when they do come back, right? You know what you're gonna do. But she's gonna be stalking your page. She's gonna be checking out who you're talking to. She's gonna message you. She's gonna try to come back into your life. And and a lot of times they'll try to, you know, try to come back in and say, let's work on it. You know, I made a mistake. Because a lot of times, guys, the guys that they leave you for, of course they sell them a dream like most guys do. So the guys sell them a dream that they want to be with them long term when the guy really just wants to smash and they think this guy is such a better replacement because he may have more money than you or maybe look a little bit better than you but the guy has no intentions of committing to her and once you know one two three months down the road when she finally figures that out and realizes that the guy had no in you know, realize that the guy has multiple chicks, she finds him talking to multiple women, and she realizes, oh crap, this dude had no interest in actually taking me seriously. That is when they're gonna come running back, like, oh my god, they're gonna remember what they left, they're gonna realize, holy crap, I just let go of something and someone who actually was taking me seriously for the opportunity to get with this dude, and they're gonna be and especially if you left on a note where you were unfazed, they're gonna really start to question their decision of leaving. And they're gonna start sneaking back into your DMs, texting you, how are you? Just checking in on you, is everything okay? And then a lot of times, they're gonna be trying to, they're gonna try to rekindle something. Guys, there's no rekindling after that. There's no, once a girl leaves, if she leaves because of betrayal or if she just wants to break up with you, there's no rekindling anything because if a girl is leaving you, if she's breaking up with you, it's because there's another dude. It's very rarely, very rare that it's not the case that it's another guy, okay? And never take a girl back that left you for another guy, okay? So I'm only telling you this situation of how to handle it only to take her back for one reason if you want to deal with her from a sexual standpoint then fine leave that door open so she can come back but at the same time i caution this advice because a lot of you guys are gonna be weak to your ex once they come back into your life they're going to be you're gonna you're gonna be weak to them because the emotions are gonna come back into the mix, the, the feelings are gonna come back into the mix, you know, you're gonna start remembering stuff, or you're just gonna start having sex again, and you're gonna get, you know, whipped by the sex and the pleasure. So you need to have a very strong willpower, and a lot of guys can't do that, especially a lot of guys who have a, a scarcity mindset or their sex, their uh, their dating life isn't in an abundance. There, a lot of you guys are gonna take her back, and you're gonna find yourselves in a very bad situation. So this is why I caution this advice: never take her back, guys. I only want you guys to use this if you have the strong enough willpower to be able to resist the temptation of getting back into a relationship with her. If you are unable to do that and you know you're gonna be weak to her, be honest with yourself. Don't use this tactic. It's best to just cut her off, block her, and move on with your life. But if you have that strong willpower and are able to compartmentalize um, sex and emotions, 
then go ahead and use this. It will be beneficial to you, okay? That's all for today, guys. If you got value from this video, please go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It'll really help me out. And until next time, guys, take it easy.